Hey guys, Joe from 1UP Reviews and today we got a performance review of the Air Pegasus 39. Before we get into this review guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Slap that thumbs up, we want to see those likes, it helps us greatly. Drop some love in the comment section below, we try our best to reply to every single comment that's thrown out our way. I just want to take this time and opportunity to thank the subscribers new and old. Without you guys, we can't do this, so thank you. Let's go. So today, we've got a performance review for the Nike Air Pegasus 39. Uh, we've got these in a UK size 7.5, it's a European 42, and it's a US men's 8.5. Uh, just before I go any further, if you feel like my voice is a bit raspy, yes it is, it's allergy season here in the UK, I'm struck down with hay fever, so I'm sorry that I feel if I sound a bit phlegmy, that's just the, the allergies kicking in, which is going to help greatly when you see us running outside for the performance portion of this review. So before we get into that side of the review, I'm just gonna do a quick look and like showcase in any points of this sneaker. So here it is, the Air Pegasus. Oh, forgive me, it's Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 39. And for those that don't know, like Air Pegasus line for Nike is one of their most quintessential running lines. So this is a proper performance running sneaker. Uh, we'll just go through the little details that makes it iconic, really. So we look at the outsole first. The outsole has a lugged rubber traction. It's inspired by the waffle patterning that you still see in loads of Nike's iconic lines right there. So again, as I mentioned, it's more lugged. So it's great traction there for every strike. Moving along onto the midsole unit. So this midsole unit inquires, not inquires, it has Nike Fly React technology, so the foam is really lightweight, it's very responsive. We've done plenty of React technology sneakers in the past, so check that out. And if anything, these are just as great as the other reviews that I've done, I can remember the top of my head. Like the Nike Fly Knit React, those were of great sneakers that we use here at one of the reviews. Looking at the upper, lightweight, it's all synthetic materials, it's a mesh, you can see its transparency as well here, so it's very lightweight as I mentioned before, you can see the little, it's not really perforations but it's breathable again and it just is a very lightweight sneaker which is very important when you're running. In, in fact if you look at the transparency bits here that's on the medial and the lateral side you can see the Nike flywire part there, this little bits of a fabric, bits of rope. So they're just there to place the laces down to help secure the top side of your feet. This is two parts. So the upper is obviously one sock like fashion and the tongue is very, is separate from the upper. So it's there, it's very padded. So it's just there for more room for the inside of your feet. The heel shape as well, just want to mention something about that. So the Air Pegasus 38, that was more of a like spike. It's kind of shaved down under 39 here. Right there, it's just head there to help benefit every heel strike that you push forward with every step. And that is about it. You can go, you can see the heel plastic there, it's all pressed on, like he swooshes. Nike logo at the back, the insoles, fabric as well, synthetic materials. You got a heel slippage there just to make it easier and more accessible to take your feet out. And just little bits of detail as well that is so great to see on sneakers. So obviously Nike is a running, actually they, run, they started out as Blue Ribbon Society trading on its Suka Tigers, but eventually they became their own running company and they obviously are very famous for creating the most iconic running sneakers of all time. And with all that said, you can see the heritage there. Obviously, as I mentioned with the waffle inspired outsole, you can see the Nike swoosh that goes all the way to the toe and established in 1972, the birthday of Nike, which by the way, this is 2022, is the 50th anniversary of Nike. All that said, 
I'm gonna roll that footage of me trying these on. You're gonna see me do some running and I'll tell you my thoughts, feelings and emotions. So roll that footage of the performance portion of this review. Here we are guys, post performance. And I've got to say this sneaker, this running trainer, I'll call it running trainer because you know, I was training at the end of the day. I've lived up to every expectations I had for the Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 39. As I mentioned before, the Air Pegasus is a staple in Nike running and this delivered. So in regards to the weight, very lightweight. This weighs in around 250, maybe 251 grams. So it's all there for the materials. Obviously I was expecting it with the Nike React and such lightweight materials given the synthetic uppers and all that. Could this be used for daily walk-in commutes? Yes, I would say. If you're looking for something to commute in, I highly recommend these. But these are, at the end of the day, built for running. And I felt that after a post 5K run that me and Jeff just done, and obviously that's why I'm like this, and that's why we said that this was post-performance. So forgive me if I look a bit sweaty, that is because I just did a 5K with these on. And again, like I mentioned before, these lived up to expectations. They delivered in regards to comfort for the underside of my feet. More so the heel strike. So every heel strike, I can feel it a bit more because of the air zoom pocket that's right there at the heel. Not so much the forefoot, I'm gonna be truthful. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I couldn't really feel anything at the underside of my forefeet, but felt more of a lift with every heel strike. So that was really beneficial uh, for every stride I took. In regards to the midsole unit as a self-react technology, yeah, I could feel that bounce. It's very spongy when I first tried it on. Very reminiscent of an Adidas Ultra Boost, but this is Nike React. We have done Nike React before. And the two, in my honest opinion, are quite similar in regards to like bounceability with every step that you take. In regards to the lacing system and the security on my feet, my feet felt very secure in these. The fly wire that you can see and that we mentioned, we showed at the beginning of the video, right there, you can see it right there in that translucent bit of the middle side of both the middle and the lateral side of the sneaker. They held my feet foot down, felt like it was pulling. So after I laced it up, it just felt like it was in place. Didn't feel any slippage right here in the heel, the way that this is built, the curve here as well. It just felt like it was a natural motion. I didn't feel like there was any slippage on any part of my stride every time I lifted my feet up. Overall, great sneaker. I think this is a really good running sneaker to have. This is at coming at an entry price point level at sub 110 pounds. Very affordable if you're looking for a everyday jogger, everyday light run, you know, you're going for a light run jog. This is the sneaker I recommend. Very aesthetically pleasing as well. You got really nice subtle tones of orange that complement this gray back. And the little bits of green, it looks like it's a very dark green. It, it just flows really well. In regards to abrasion as well, so something I did want to mention, there was no after um, damage, I would say. It just felt like it took every bit of environment that we threw on it. So we did some running on the dirt, we did some running on the road, and it comes out really clean at the end of it. Here, at the end of the run, don't see any damage done, no abrasion. Obviously you can see the dirt marks from the ground, but that's easily cleanable. Apart from that, great sneaker to have, add to your collection. If you're looking for a running sneaker, one that I recommend, great price point. This is the latest technology that Nike has to offer. So why not and invest your money in the Air Pegasus, Air Zoom Pegasus 39. That rounds it off with my review. Thanks to Jeff as well, he ran with me, so needed that support. 5K is a lot, so there's that. Um, with all that said, remember guys, like this video if you'd like to content. Let us know in the comments below. If you want to see more reviews, doing performance, showing, highlighting every bit of DL that we can try and muster up for you guys, uh, show us some love in the comment section below. And remember to follow us on Instagram at 1UpReviews with Z at the end. Until next time, peace.